Hello, this is Beaver here with another Redstone video response to 71 Gaming and Oliver is so cool. Oliver is so cool. It's the one that was asking asking for a counter, but I found a way to make one smaller, compact. So I decided just to post it to 71 Gaming's channel just to show him and that he might want to use it. So pretty much I just have RS and latches hooked up together like in this combination lock and I have my wonderful pulse shortener which I like to call it which is our snort gate of the input inverted and hooked up to the top so it always resets to off and thus doing so it makes this output shorter than the actual input being put into and it has the same amount of time or length every single time because of this delay and this is just another version I just have it going up so it goes up faster so I'll just demonstrate it right now it's going down it's going up down and so basically what I did here I took the output of the top RS nor gate and then I hooked it up to the other one next to it to the left and so when this one is off it allows this one to turn off but not this one because the output of this one is hooked up and it allows disallows this pulse to turn it off it's nice neat compact and very fast and I believe this is 70 like 71 gaming actually did this but he used a lot more space which I just decided to show him this because he'd probably be very grateful and I guess I'll just show you how I build it now first let's start off with the inputs build it like this like a with our snore gate Put the redstone on top, redstone here, don't forget that redstone there, you cannot have it like that, you have to have it like this or that. Then, put a repeater right here, then two a block in front of it, redstone torch, then redstone torch, then put redstone all along that, and there you go, we got a pulse shortener. I'll put a redstone torch there just to show you that it works. And you can actually just take a never ending pulse and have it still work because this torch stops it from being permanently on. So, yeah. You just build two of these. Sure, that. And the shape looks like that if you just remember it by the block designs. This torch. Torch. Repeater set to tick three. Stone all along. Stone there. Torch. And now, I'm going to take the output of this one. I'll just take it over here. And then place repeaters all along for how many you want. I'll just do four just for demonstration. Then redstone in front of them. Because we're going to be building for our snore gates. Ah, I forget the torch. Yes, I did. Just place the torch. I'll reset those here in a second. But uh, do this. Just make sure everything's good. Then you have to put the repeaters here. I don't know, it just glitches up when you put them right there. It allow it this activates two at a time for some reason. So you do that. And then what you want to do 
So put a block above each of these, like so. Redstone torches with redstone wiring. Then after that, you need to have well, more redstone torches right here. Make sure they're all off, and then you can just stake it over here, down to here. You can probably build this from like the bottom, I'm just doing it from the top because it's easier. And now we want to make sure that this reaches, so just do this, yes it does. Now you want to do is take this input, take it out to build it up one, a torch there, torch like so. The same, you don't do the same thing actually, and here, let's just take a look at what I have over here. So you have to have a repeater actually, so at every one that you have, you'd have a repeater, so it has a little bit of a delay, or else it'll turn two off at a time, which is odd. Don't know why it does that, just the way redstone works and timing. And then after you do that, you want to take it over here, take this just one out, one more block than it was before. Let's take it out. Some torch. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but it just you have to make sure that this current won't interfere with that one. And then after that, actually I think I might have built that wrong. I'll just test. Yes I did. Okay. I think it has to be like this. Yes, it does. That's okay. That's the way it was supposed to be. The reason why that has to be up is because it can't interfere with that. And then you just build the same things all over again. Like so. Do that. That. And, yep. And there you have it. And it should work fine. I just put a button there, button there. One, two, one, two. Let's take it all the way. Oops, see that activated two. Not for sure why that happened. I'll see. Oops. Only thing I do not like about buttons is that sometimes they do a quicker pulse than they're supposed to do, and so quick that resident torches can't tell. There you go. It's a counter, and all you have to do is just extend this one block. Like every other one, one block, so they're all even. Put a torch. I believe. Yes. And then just take the wire. This can be used for many things, but right now I'm just showing you the module, or whatever you like to call it. Yeah, thank you for watching.